Good afternoon, everyone. Arctic sea ice regains the most ever recorded in the satellite era. Up 800,000 square kilometers in two weeks. Interestingly, Unisys sea surface temperatures have been down for a couple of weeks. Farmer's Almanac forecast for Canada and the United States compared to the Weather Channel. And from Thailand to Turkey, unusual snows and cold. Doi Intanon, 9 degrees Celsius cooler than normal in northern Thailand. First unexpected unusual snows in Turkey as well. More early snows in the western United States, this time near Salt Lake City, Mount Timpanogos, already receiving snowfalls that are in midwinter levels. Please subscribe to my channel, Adapt2030, and here we go. With the IPCC continually quoting satellite record data, Arctic sea ice extent has increased the most ever recorded during the satellite era. All the way back to 1979, as the IPCC continues to tell us, it's warming into oblivion, yet the Arctic sea ice extent is record increase 800,000 square kilometers in two weeks. Take a look at the totals here from 4.278 up to 4.899. And this record stopped on the 24th. Increases since then through the 27th today. Also how the media reported it's the second lowest amount of ice ever. Well, it's clearly not. It was third by just a sliver lower barely lower by a few tens of thousands of square kilometers than 2015. Jumping over to the Greenland melt extent, as you can see, it dropped off a cliff in late August and early September. This melting absolutely stopped on a dime. So this Greenland's going to melt forever. Most of the year was clearly within the 2% standard deviation. There was barely a jump in April, but the rest of the time was either under, within the 2%, and now even below the normal days of melting going into the autumn, not even winter. Interestingly enough, sea surface temperatures in Unisys have been down for that same amount of time that the Arctic ice has been increasing. This is the one that you can definitely see where the El Nino patterns or the La Nina is actually kicking in with the water temperatures. Just don't see any updated info there. Speaking of temperatures, this is the Weather Channel's December forecast. Notice the blue near or slightly below average on the East Coast. They're saying way much above average in the Western United States, but there's already been blizzards across the Glacier National Park, Yellowstone National Park. And now we even have more heavy snows across Salt Lake City area in Utah, plus the weird tornado the other day. And they're putting completely above average tempers for December through February. But inversely, when we start to take a look at the Farmer's Almanac, they show numbing cold across some of the same areas. But the balmy and wet is out west, but that freezing cold and chilled to the bone wet cold does not pop up in the weather forecast for the Weather Channel. Taking a look at Canada as well, very cold, ice cold, freezing cold. Those are good descriptive adjectives there. Jumping over to Asia, Thailand. You think of Thailand as a tropical country? It is. But it's 9 degrees below normal temperatures, just 3 degrees above what they consider winter temperatures already. And it just turned a couple of days ago into autumn. We could even almost classify this by two days as late summer freeze in Thailand in the warmest year ever. From Thailand to Turkey, it is starting to cool and snow around the northern hemisphere already. There are umpteen examples of this. Just trying to keep up is even difficult at this point. Eastern Turkey, first snowfalls recorded, surprising the residents. The snow came so early. And if you look at the bottom line there, expected to remain below the seasonal norms, which means it's below normal temperatures there as well. Bottom line again, 
The early snowfall, they woke up and their entire city was blanketed with snow. One below zero already. And remember, just two days ago, it turned into autumn. It was summer previous to that. We're almost at the borderline of summer starting to freeze now. And this is what happened during the Maunder Minimum. We got into these cycles where the spring came later with heavy rains and cold. And then the winter started incredibly early. And it looks like we're starting to get into the cusp of this repeating Maunder Minimum pattern right now. So much snow, in fact, that it even trapped villagers, which were not expecting snow at all. Now, taking a look at the new snowfalls in Salt Lake City, we are talking feet in the mountains. The darkest blue there is literally two and a half feet, 70 plus centimeters. As we get around to the orange and yellow, that orange red is a foot and in the yellow, it's inches out on the periphery. Ski conditions get the top going to be opening early this year. This is the webcam from the top and one of my viewers sent me this most amazingly beautiful photo here. This is how much it snowed in one single storm down to about 6,000 feet or so. Now to blanket a mountain that deep is literally feet of snow. Mount Timpanogos. And if you look on Google or you look into Wikipedia, this is what you see in the middle of winter, what they look like in January. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. It's already beginning in early winter as predicted with the cool down, the drop in the sunspots, and all the cyclical patterns that are revolving around centuries of time. We're so focused on this 1979 to 2016 time frame. That is a drop in the bucket. We are talking century long cycles of a repeat that are starting again. Not some three and a half decade long cycle. It is going to get as cool as the 1970s again, for sure, this cycle and this winter. But as we progress, we're going to get into the century level cooling and century level snowstorms again and again, and it will become the norm. And it's going to affect our plant growing, our harvest yields. And you're going to need to try to stay healthy because when we look back into the modern minimum, malnutrition was one of the main reasons that people got sick and the disease pervaded the society was people's immune systems were so low from lack of nutrition. So I encourage you to jump over to get the tea.com. They have a full range over there of supplements for health detox. And this is pretty much the starting gun right here. We're going to need to all get ready mentally, physically, and spiritually.